Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be making more of the Dollar Tree cages. And I will be making three different ones just to show you that you are able to purchase other items and not just the ones from my previous video from last year. If you haven't checked out that video, I will leave a link down below in the description box. I'm going to kind of bounce off my video from last year on how I made the Dollar Tree cage prop. You can use this for any kind of skeleton that you do have at home. Um, or Dollar Tree even sells like little miniature skeletons now, so you can pick some of those up and make cages for them if you would like. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. So for this first cage, I grabbed two of these wire baskets and I am just cutting with wire cutters all around the top edge here. And I will actually keep these two rings that I end up cutting out here. I'm going to use them for a future project, so don't throw them away. The good thing about getting this particular basket is it is wire, so it's already quote unquote metal, and it's black, so I don't need to spray paint it. You can spray paint it if you want with some silver or like aluminum, like metal tones, just to kind of give that more of a metal looking cage, which I think actually would look good. I just chose not to spray paint it. So after I've cut these out, I'm now going to assemble them together. I kept that top handle piece from one of the baskets and I just simply pushed it in the bottom of one basket. And now I'm going to attach them using zip ties I got from Dollar Tree. So after I get about two or three zip ties in, I'm then going to decide what exactly I'm going to put inside the cage. I decided maybe a candle, but then I wouldn't be able to light it. So then I tried maybe a skull. I just didn't really like the way it fit. And this bird that Dollar Tree sells fit perfectly. So this is his new home. And I actually ended up cutting just with the wire cutters, just a door right in the front. I cut kind of half like the bottom piece and halfway up and that way I was able to bend the door, if that makes sense. So after I bent the door backwards, then I was able to get the bird in and out and just simply close it. It was really not that hard. And if you come up with an easier solution for a door or if you want a door, I would say go for it. Um, sorry I didn't add it into this particular tutorial, but here is the finished look. Now we're going to move on to the next Dollar Tree DIY cage. Now this one is super fun. This is probably my favorite. I grabbed two mini laundry baskets is what I'm going to call them. They're very small. This is just to make like a miniature version of my video I did last year. Okay, so I am just cutting along the top edge of the basket. Now I'm making sure that I have a lip all the way around so I'm able to connect the two baskets together. After you have both of those cut out, I picked up one of these plant hangers and I'm gonna use this chain for the top part where the cage will be hung from. So I'm using the Krylon brand in the metallic brilliant aluminum to spray paint. I gave a quick base coat with black and then I quickly sprayed in random spots all over the quote unquote cage, the baskets. And then I'm gonna do my chain the same way. It's already black so I'm just gonna simply sp spray random spots of the metallic all over it. Just kind of sporadically. I'll flip it over and I will do the same just so the whole chain is uniform. All right, so now after we have our spray painted baskets, 
I'm gonna flip this over. This will be our top of our cage. I'm gonna put three holes here so I'm able to insert the chain. So I first tried scissors and the plastic is pretty strong. So I ended up having to heat a fork with a lighter. I did use a hot pad for this just because the fork does get really hot. So after I lit that fork up, I poked it down in through the plastic. It was a little hard, I had to hold on to it, but it did go through. So I did this several times repeatedly. Here's what the hole looks like. So after I went through it several times, the holes weren't big enough for the end of the plant hanger to poke through, to clip on. So I ended up having to use my scissors, poke bigger holes. It still wasn't fitting right. So I ended up going back through, poking the holes bigger with the scissors, and then I used my wire cutters to just turn them off to create a bigger hole like this. So now I'm just pushing the end of the, the plant hanger chain into place so it's secured onto the top of the basket. After that is finished, I'm going to take the bottom half of the cage, the other basket, place in my skeleton of choice, which again, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I want these lines lined up straight so it looks like a cage and not two baskets put together. So that is very important to line up all of your lines. So now I'm using zip ties again. I still had leftovers from the first packet, so I recommend just picking up a packet of, uh, I think it was 16 or so in one packet for a dollar, really wasn't bad. So I'm doing every three to four spacing, that way I don't have to use too many zip ties. Last year's video, I ended up using wire because wire, I just had it on hand. It was very easy. This way is a lot easier though. But if you don't like the look of zip ties, I would go ahead with the wire. I really liked the way the wire looked. But I don't mind the zip ties at all. They don't look bad. It still looks like a cage. So here is the finished mini cage. The cage itself stands around 13 inches tall and the chain hangs about 19 inches. All right, now we are on our third and final cage. I picked up two of these baskets. I'm going to cut where my finger is on the outside part right there. So you can kind of see exactly where I'm cutting. I did have to use a lot of force. These are kitchen scissors. So this plastic was pretty strong. So if you need an adult to help you, please don't hesitate to ask. And really with all these projects, you should be under adult supervision. After giving a quick base coat in black, I'm now going through with flat soft iron and another metallic color and I'm spraying kind of where the red pieces are showing through since the black was done fairly quick and this paint is all wet. So this is all at once. I did not let the base coat dry first. I just did it all at once making sure that I flip over on this side and this is how it should dry on this side. I did want to add in this little part in the tutorial because some people might not know how to do the spray paint technique. Now that you got both of these done and I gave it a full day to dry. So now we are going to assemble our cage. So it's pretty self-explanatory if you've been watching the video. We are going to be using the rest of our zip ties that was in the pack. So first I'm going to add two zip ties in the back of the cage. And remember it's very important to line up those lines so it looks like a cage and not two baskets put together. Here's the front. So I also picked up this jute twiner nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. It's about 13 feet and I actually used half of the packet of rope. After I cut half out, then I cut that in half and I looped the two pieces together and tied a normal knot on both ends, but created this little handle looking piece and I had four loose pieces. I was able to tie each one to a corner of the top of the cage. And I just tied a normal knot and then I took my scissors and trimmed off the excess. I did that on all four sides. And to make sure it was pretty secure, I did end up using E6000 and I just placed it in the knot, all over the knot.
I opened it up and I did it as well on the underside. Closed it back and it will dry within 24 hours, but we can still keep going. I put the skull in it and finish it off with my zip ties. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked any part of this video, please smash that like button for me. That really helps me out as a small YouTuber, it helps me grow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my next videos. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.